Hi, everybody, and welcome to Know What You're Talking About. Today, we're talking about Topic 8, DQ2, and I have it up on the screen here. It says, why do governments sometimes pay for their spending by printing more money, and why do economists refer to this as an inflation tax that can result in very harmful results? Well, when you first look at that question, it looks almost self-evident. I mean, if I could just print money to pay my bills, I'd be all in, right? But there's a little more to it than that, and I think we should explore further. And let's start by getting a handle on it by looking at the question rubric. And you'll find the rubric right here. It's the very first post in DQ2, and we click it open, and it says define inflation tax, and that's worth two points, and explain why governments choose to pay for spending by printing money and how this relates to hyperinflation, which is worth three points. Okay, so now we're getting a little more complicated. So let's go to the textbook and see what it has to say on this topic. So we go over to MindTap, and of course in MindTap, we're gonna to go to topic eight, and we only have one, uh, one textbook chapter this week, so we're gonna click on the interactive textbook and wait for that to come up. And when that comes up, you can see that I've already been in here and I've turned us to section 22-1G. Look, it's a whole section on the inflation tax. It defines the, the, the concept right here. And if you remember, that was one of our rubric points. And then when you go down a little further, it talks about, um, how it works and why why governments would choose to do this in the first place so your whole dq can be answered right out of section 22-1g again i always say the same thing just because you can answer this dq out of this one section of the textbook does not mean that it's a good idea for you to just cherry pick through this section or to even only read just this one section. This whole chapter has to be taken in context to really understand it. But to find what you're looking for to get this DQ answered, 22-1G is your best bet. So I look forward to reading your answers and thanks for being here for Know What You're Talking About.